everybody. Did you guys hear? My lovely imps, my fellow patriot imps, all of you who care about the sanctity of America, did you guys hear that Joe Biden had titties out at the White House? Joe Biden personally endorsed titties out at the White House. Can you believe it? America's falling. Press like and subscribe if you're a true patriot. Okay, um let's let's uh I'm gonna I'm gonna let's I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. Let's bring it in just a tiny bit. Okay, everybody. Uh uh first of all, Joe Biden uh made a very public, very supportive statement for Pride Month this year, even going so far as to fly the Progress P Pride banner at the White House, which is a pretty cool, uh, 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 you know, uh, gesture. Um, and he invited a whole bunch of trans people to the White House, a whole bunch of gay people, a whole bunch of lesbians, a whole bunch of bisexual people, a bunch of people to the White House to talk about various things. And one of them at one point uh, took off her top, didn't show any nipple though, J just took off her top and did this next to a trans, a trans woman next to a trans man who did this and he had his shirt off and you could see his top surgery scars. Now, um, of course, the fact that this photo was taken caused a complete and utter meltdown on the right wing. They have been screaming about it uh, for about a week or so since this happened. I don't know. Maybe it was a couple days ago. I don't remember how many days ago it was. I don't honestly care. Um, and of course, they're insane. Um, nobody cares. Uh, having your hand over your nipples and not even showing your nipples and taking a cute little photo with your friend who just got their, you know, top surgery. No one cares. No one in the world cares except for prudish conservatives. Now, the irony, of course, is that all of the conservatives have to be, pretend to be super offended while they pretend that trans women aren't women. They have to pretend that trans women's boobs are female boobs, which is a weird thing. It's kind of strange, isn't it? That, um, that conservatives can believe that trans women aren't women, but also that trans women's boobs are women's boobs and therefore need to be, you know, legislated harshly by the law. Um, it's kind of a weird, stupid, idiotic hypocrisy that kind of lays bare is that, that they don't know what they're talking about. But guys, I want to tell you something. Um, it doesn't matter. Of course, the White House was like, please don't take your tits out on the lawn. That was disrespectful. You, we're not going to invite you again because you took your tits out on the lawn, even though she's still covered up anyway. Um, but guys, let me just tell you a quick experience, okay? I know that Americans have a reputation for literally never leaving America, and that's true. They do never leave America. Um... But if you walk literally anywhere outside of America, no one gives a shit um, about tits and nudity as much as Americans, besides like maybe a small group of super, super conservative uh, countries in the Middle East. That's about it. Everywhere else, no one cares. I went to Germany when I was pretty young. I was like 11, no wait, I would have been like, yeah, I was like 11 or 12 when I went to Germany with my dad. I went to Germany, Austria, the Netherlands, and uh, France. In all of these countries, there were tits everywhere. Literally on Main Street, there will be soap ads with a naked woman washing her body with soap, and you will see her tits. Uh, there will be penises on TV. There will be vaginas on TV. Um, you will go past, you will drive past a nudist beach where there are naked old men and naked old women. Okay. Nobody in the world cares about the human body in its naked form to the same degree that deranged American conservatives do. These people are the most embarrassing prudes on the entire planet. The entire planet laughs at them because they are so embarrassing and you should laugh at them too. 
Um, uh, it just doesn't matter. Um, as it turns out, going like this and going, ha, on the White House isn't actually a sign of anything good or bad. It's just a lady going like this at the White House, covering up her nipples, but not technically having a shirt on. You see worse at your local beach. I don't know, newsflash, guys. If you go to the local, to any local beach ever, I mean, unless it's winter, but like if you go to in the summer to any beach, you're gonna see people with tiny fucking uh, 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 swimsuits. You're gonna see people with thongs. You're gonna see people with barely anything on. You're gonna see people sunbathing. Who cares? It's tits. Who cares at all? It's so stupid. It's such a stupid thing to have a meltdown over. And yet, meltdown they have. Uh, so, uh, I guess this is my solidarity statement to the lady who barely showed, uh, her tits on the White House. Um, good for you. And also, wow, you did it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. You know that, like, a good chunk of, uh, of American states have passed laws that say that it's not illegal to have your tits out? Because, I don't know if you guys know this, but men walk around shirtless all the time. They, like, literally walk around with their shirts off and their male presenting nipples out, and nobody gives a shit. Um, I don't know, like, <laughs> isn't DC one of the places where that's the case? It's legal for women to be topless in DC, so she didn't even do anything wrong! She literally did nothing wrong! New York, I know New York is like that. Pretty sure California is like that. Washington is like that. Uh, I, I'm hearing from the chat that DC is like that. Yeah, DC, DC is one of them. Let's see. DC topless laws yeah it's not it's legal to be topless in washington dc she literally didn't break any laws she did nothing wrong she did nothing wrong so yeah um hot take uh conservatives are stuck in the middle ages they're pathetic embarrassing people they get mad over everything even when it's completely hypocritical even when it goes against their own viewpoint um they're like oh you're not a woman but your tits are women uh therefore you need to be subjected to our medieval laws uh, men can go topless but women can't because there's something magical about boobies if if i see boobies i have to start jacking off immediately where i stand ah I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding, by the way. That is how a lot of these people are. A lot of conservatives, the reason why they feel the need to, to legislate whether or not women can go topless but not men is because they personally won't be able to keep it in their pants if they have to see titties. It's also really weird. Did you guys know that conservatives are super hostile to breastfeeding? Isn't that super weird? Like, that conservatives are, are supposedly all about, um, about, like, traditional family and women doing their role but then when it comes to breastfeeding they're like that's disgusting oh my god what a scandal and of course the answer is that they don't actually care about any sort of consistency all they care about is the right to be able to control women to tell women what they can and cannot do to be able to control other people's bodies and have and have command over them and it's funny, when it comes to that, they're perfectly fine with treating trans women as women. Which, of course, we all know trans women are women. And they kind of give away the game. That they also think trans women are women too. But, you know, only they pretend otherwise when it's convenient for them. It's, it's so uh, deranged. And it's stupid that we all have to pretend... That, that our entire political system has to do song and dance around these people because nobody should take them seriously at all whatsoever. 
No one in their right mind has a problem with a woman breastfeeding. No one in their right mind should have, no one who who has any sort of internal mental consistency should have any problem with anyone being topless, but especially should have no problem with women being topless given that it's no, it's considered normal for men to be topless. It is, uh, uh, it is hilarious that this is where we're at. And I want you guys to remember that you guys remember, uh, in like, you guys remember in like 2016, actually, you know, people even do it to this day where they go, oh, come on, the Republican party, they've, you know, they've modernized the Republican party. They don't really want to take us back to medieval times. Sure. Some of them are like, you know, they're conservative, but you know, they're not like, they're not unreasonable. No, they literally are. The conservative movement in America unironically believes there is something intrinsically sexual and intrinsically offensive about a, a woman's chest. They actually believe that there is just something spiritual and magical that, it, that makes a boob, a, a nipple that is on the top of a boob worse than a nipple that is on top of a fucking moob. You're telling me I'm supposed to be more fucking offended by like a pretty trans girl going like this with a picture with a picture in front of the White House than I am supposed to be offended by like fucking Donald Trump's disgusting nipples sticking out through his shirt when he's sweaty on a hot day? You think I'm supposed to fucking uh, be more offended by a trans woman's tits than I am supposed to be the fact that they let Mitch McConnell walk anywhere in public looking like a literal corpse? Are you fucking kidding me? No, man, not gonna happen. I don't care. I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be gaslit into thinking that it's wrong to believe that everyone should be able to go topless if they really want to. And I'm not gonna be gaslit into believing that, uh, that like, that this woman who didn't break the law, who was obeying the law in the, in Washington, DC did anything wrong. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. <sighs> yeah um so yeah so that's my take i guess uh is there anything that i missed oh yeah i forgot just before that they were freaking out because the um uh, they were freaking out because the flag the trans the 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 prog progress pride flag progress Pride, let me show you. You guys know this flag. Come on, everybody here knows this flag. But I'll show it for the view, uh, for the benefit of, I'll show it for the benefit of the uh, of the people, okay? Of the of the non-gay people. This one, you know, this flag. It's got the uh, it's got the rainbow for all the L LGB P for pansexual people. We've got the uh, we've got the uh, the 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 uh, black and people of color. We've got the trans flag. We've got the intersex. It's a fine flag. And and actually, I'm going to be completely honest. I think it looks best when flown vertically. Um, I think it actually looks really cool when it was flown like it was at the White House. Here, I'll just even get the picture of it at the White House. Here. They've got pictures of it all over the place. Here it is. Here's the image that everybody's... Su they got super mad about okay this is the one look at that oh actually they didn't even do the one with the intersex on it it was just the normal one but yeah they were getting super mad they were like this is okay hold on can i find the tweet hold on <laughs> let me see if i can find the actual tweet i think it was uh maybe it was tim pool yeah i think it was tim pool who was having a fucking meltdown <laughs> yeah <laughs> here we go that slope sure was slippery, huh? Slippery slope. Just let them get married. How does this affect you personally? Ten years later, state-enforced homosexuality. With the picture of the Biden White House. And it's actually funny. It looks like they edited this one so that you couldn't even see the flag on top. I don't know if it's edited or if it's just a deceptive angle. There was another one, too. There was one of, uh, of yeah, here it is. Here's Tim Pool. What does it, Tim Pool retweeted this. What does it mean when my nation places a new flag in a position of primacy on the building? That the house of the president, you might be saying to yourself. And then Tim Pool here is like, does this flag divide the US? Yes, the president knows this flag is not supported by most Americans, but does not care. Flying a flag of ideology over the flag of the country, dipshit, 
It's right up there. You're the idiot who too decided to look at a, a, a image that doesn't show you that literally on the roof of the White House is flying a fucking flag. These are banners. These American flags don't even count as American flags because they're being flown vertically. They're banners for an event, you clown. The, the White House has fallen. They flew a rainbow flag. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. It's. It's. Am I, how is anyone supposed to be taking this shit seriously? How is anyone supposed to take any of this shit seriously? And then, of course, immediately afterwards, they flip out about tits. She showed her. Well, she didn't actually show her nipples because they were covered because she was going like this. But she went like this. She went like this. Oh! Get over it. You fucking pussies. You fucking pussies. All right, everybody. I should probably, I should probably, uh, 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 take a breather. Uh, but... What else am I supposed to do but react with extreme ridicule to these people? Actual, actual jokes. Truly the most fragile people on the entire planet, okay? Just incapable of even, of, of even swallowing the most basic level of, hey, people, some people think slightly differently than you. No, everything is a meltdown. Everything is the end of the world. Everything is, is uh, the end of Western civilization. It's just a never ending freak out session. They're having constant mental breakdowns and they want us to pretend like these people are serious or that these people should be allowed to have any say in the future of the world. They shouldn't. People like Tim Pool, people like his stupid followers who eat this slop up, are they're not ready okay they're not ready to participate in the future of the human race they should be relegated to basically the modern equivalent of like an xbox live lobby where they can scream slurs at each other and 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 play a little video game so that their fifis don't get hurt uh but they should not be allowed to like participate in the rest of the world with us in my opinion <laughs> Because, uh, and I don't mean that like legally, like sure, they should have the legal right, but nobody should take them seriously. We should basically pat them on the heads and push them along their way. Go on, go on, go play over in the mud slop pile. Oh my goodness. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, the tits out on the White House is not a big deal. Obviously, no one cares. It's legal to have your tits out in Washington D.C. because Washington D.C. is one of the, is one of many states which have acknowledged that there's nothing inherently different between a man's chest and a woman's chest, uh, besides the fat deposits that are there, and sometimes not even that. I mean, come on, guys. You're telling me that you're you're trying to tell me that fucking Don Jr. and Chris Christie and Ted Cruz don't have uh, some breast tissue going on? Are you 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 guys trying to tell me that with a straight face? Come on, man. Let's be real. Get real. Come on, Jack. Get real. Anyway, that's all I have to say. It's not a big deal. No one should care about it. And if you do, you are a giant uh, whining, blubbering baby. And you should get over yourself, frankly. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you liked my little rant, if you had a fun time, smack the subscribe button below. If you want to whine about my takes, please do so in the comments. If you think it was funny, tell me what you thought was great in the comments. Love you all very much.